Easy peeps, and welcome back to another episode I've started from the bottom of the road to glory. Yesterday we had the UEFA marquee matchups. Today we're going to be doing a four, four of the UCL upgrade packs. Now our pack look is not very good. After we've done this, we might go and have a look at the team a little bit, play a few games, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? We have bought players, sold players, bought players, sold players, bought players, sold players, trying to find the right balance for the team. We'll talk about that in a moment. Our first UCL two-player pack. Can we get anything decent in this pack? We get... Farfan. Absolutely nobody decent. We go again. We're going to keep going. We're going to rinse another UCL player. Now, these aren't costing us a lot, but we are rinsing quite a few players out of the club. So, these will be the only ones that will be doing this. This is basically designed to be a little bit of a coin card sink to try and stabilise the market a little bit. Right, can we get anybody on this one? Can we? Can we? We get Pulisic. I'm seeing people packing Ronaldo, Pogba, Valencia, Pulisic. Oh, that was me. That, that was me that packed Pulisic. Okay, we go again. We've got another one. Let's do a third. We might as well. We're starting to use a few higher rated rare golds than what we would like because our club's looking a little bit thin. So we've got another one. Can we get a good one on this one? Come on, centre back Liverpool Lovren, 82 rated, non usable though. I really, I mean, I know the game's not about pace, but 56 pace for Lovren and 59 pace for one Yamo. I don't think they're mega usable. I know it's not all about pace, but there's got to be a limit somewhere. Having said that, having said that, the way this game plays sometimes, who knows? They might be able to outpace. Gabriel Jesus right this is the last one we're going to do you can see we're struggling a little bit on the players that we're using we're using some good rare golds that we don't necessarily want to but this will be our fourth UCL two player pack we haven't had anybody so far six six players the best one has been Lovren 82 rated can we get something good in this one come on EA come on EA Please, yay. Tadic, 81 rated. So Lovren was our best pull out of four UCL packs. He's our best UCL player so far as well. We didn't get anybody from the marquee matchups. So that's eight players here, three from the marquee matchups, plus the Ashley Young. We've got 12 UCL players and none of them are any good. Right, this is the team then that we have currently. We've sold players, we've bought players, we've sold players, we've bought players, we've sold players and guess what? We've bought players and the latest addition to the team is Blaze Matweedy. Now we've paid 47,500 coins for Matweedy. Is he worth it? I'm not too sure. The only thing that worries me slightly is his high, high work rate in that CDM position. But I'm enjoying this formation at the moment. With the last video we do before we go into the weekend league, we will show how the final team will look. I'm not too sure if this is the final team yet. Then I'll show you custom tactics and stuff. I'm still tinkering. I could show you a custom tactic today and trust me, it'll be totally different in an hour. So I'm, I'm not settled in yet. So we're going to just keep tinkering for the last couple of days heading into the weekend league however though i would like to i would like to address something on the recent comments on youtube somebody did ask a, a pertinent question or left a very good comment so let's head to that comment right now and the comment is mum you are amazing okay that, that's a little bit awkward that that's the wrong comment i didn't i didn't mean to put that comment on that, that, that is awkward. Right, can we show the real comment, please? Let's have the right. Okay, mate, about time for some gameplay, maybe. Ha, ha, ha. You are so right, Patty Singh. You are so, so right. 
We haven't shown gameplay yet on the FIFA 19 RTG and that ends right now. Division Rivals, let's go with the team. Blaze Matweedy making his day, but um, first game we've got this. Aubameyang, Willian, Keita, Matic, Kovacic, nice Premier League team. Now, you will not see a lot of time finishing here because honestly, shooting and scoring is not my problem. Fred with an absolute beauty there. Scoring is not my problem. My problem is defending. Kickoff goals are still in the game. I still can't defend kickoff goals. And you will see right now we go 1 0 up and then straight away we can see the goal from kickoff. My players just can't respond. It's still in the game from FIFA 18. I don't know what to do. I don't know how to defend it. I don't know how to do it any better than that. So unfortunately, we'll still keep conceding kickoff goals. That's why I've gone to this formation to try and limit it, try and be more defensive. No matter what formation we play, we're scoring goals. So now I need to try and find a formation that helps me not leak so many goals. And as I'm saying that, we do go 2-1 down in this game. So perhaps this isn't the right formation. I don't know. Well, we're going to lose some games because obviously players are going to be better than us. But it's just if, whether the team feels like it can react or not. I'm not too sure. We've got we've got Matuidi making his day, but is he the right is he the right player for the role? I'm, again, I'm not too sure. Jesus or Jesus, however you say his one, he in the centre back position, he is absolutely phenomenal. And Gabriel Jesus up front is also phenomenal. Now, Martial scores a goal there. He might not make the final team. Obviously, because of the UEFA marquee matchups, the uh, market took a little bit of a dip. But the market, like dodgeball, will duck dip, 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 dodge, or dive and dig and dodge right everywhere. It will go back up. Um, so hope I might get rid of Martial when he goes up a little bit. I'm not too sure. We might bring Rashford in. I, I don't know. Might try and save a bit of coins. Jesus with a banger from outside of the box there. Um, so Jesus is phenomenal. Is he worth 45, 50,000 coins? Who knows, man? Who knows? I'm not too sure what coins mean what in this one. Willian with a nice little finish there. And then Fred with the nice scabby rebound. Now, Fred, well, I remember we said I was worried about Fred costing me 32. Then they brought all the uh, Champions League cards out. Obviously, Fred then got an 83 rated card. So now he's 32,000 rated card because of his ones to watch has now dipped in price a little bit. So I knew he was going to get caught on Fred. So Fred's still a sticking point. He's not necessarily a mistake because we needed him for chemistry reasons. But I just, I knew that paying 32 for him was a problem. And obviously it's proved to be so. Next game up, another Premier League team. Now, like I said, we're scoring goals. Our problem is actually conceding them. We score a great little cross header from him. Uh, Gabriel Jesus, another one on the score sheet. My problem is conceding goals. We're still conceding goals. So that leads me to think, do we want Alexandro still in the team? I still haven't made that decision. I did pose the question on yesterday's video, but absolutely nobody answered me. Nobody. I'm not angry. You're angry. I, I, I'm, not, I'm not angry. Just nobody, nobody answered me. But that's okay. That's okay, people. I appreciate, I appreciate you watching. I do appreciate you watching, I appreciate the thumbs up, and I appreciate you sharing the videos. But nobody answered me, so I don't know, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. I think that 70k that we spent on Sandro, if I can now get like high 80s, 90, I can make what, 20k minus tax on Sandro, but then we're going to have to overpay for a couple of players to bring in the replacements. But we could just go with Mendy, I was even looking at Socrates. I don't know. Has anybody used Socrates? I'm going to ask another question here. Beautiful goal from Willian there. I'm going to ask another question. If you've used Socrates, let me know in the comments section below. Do you find the 69 pace a problem? Let me know because he's actually on my thinking of getting wish list purely down to chemistry so we keep Man Manolas. I'm not too sure. I love that celebration, by the way. I think I've found a new troll celebration and it's that one where they all crouch and look at the camera really coolly. Right then, on to the game. Fred with a beautiful ball into Jesus and a drag back of Jareem's and we go 3-1 up on the 81st minute. Willian, fantastic. Jesus, fantastic. Martial, not bad. Fred, not bad. 
plus a little bit not bad not fantastic but a bit more better than not bad uh, Manalas superb Sandro don't really notice him weird that isn't it don't really notice Sandro even though he's on the ball here he'll still play a few passes that are misplaced and I think anybody could do that position and the way that the players all catch up to each other anyway his pace isn't really noticeable it's weird it's really really weird Willian though I'm dead pleased with Willian um, one of the reasons we didn't do the Lucas was because of obviously not having a Premier League team at the time and obviously he had 70 stamina so that's why we've gone down the William route. But obviously, I've seen now Lucas, I've played against Lucas and he's run consistently for 90 minutes and that 70 stamina doesn't seem to be a problem whatsoever. So, am I slightly regretting doing the Lucas? I'm not too sure, but at least we can sell the William if we need to. Matweedy though, I'm dead pleased with. Look at this, he can even score a banger from inside of the box. Nice little bit of composure. He's very good. I was worried about height having a small two having two small CDMs in Alan and Matweedy. But honestly, I don't think that's going to be a problem. I'm quite happy with the Matweedy purchase, so he's alright. If we decide to go down the Premier League route, then he might go anyway just out of necessity. But then the only one I'd really want to replace him with, well, it'll be two, will be Fernandinho or Fabinho. And both of those seem excessively expensive for the cards at the moment. And I think I get a lot more bang for my buck with Matweedy. But again, it's all weird. Who knows? Right then, on to the last little bit of gameplay. I hope you're happy. Gameplay finally. Drop a thumbs up. Yeah. On to the last game. And look at this team. You would think these will be absolutely poor and will get destroyed. And this was the hardest game I have played in this batch of, what, four or five games. Absolutely ridiculous. I had, like, non-gold what, what, they be, what, what are they called this year? Common gold players completely outpacing Sandro. I've got lone Aspas completely skinning me. Uh, it was a hard game. It was a very, very hard game. We do go 1-0 down. Then we managed to go on the attack with a little bit of pace from Willian into Jesus. And a lucky goal as it bounces off the Makar... The, the Makarkos? The Makar... The can't say his name. The Marcos. There you go. The Macacos. The, the Macaco. The Macaco. The And he was trolling. He was doing flick ups. He was doing overhead bounces and stuff like that. So we got a player sent off because I was getting angry. Then I went full court pressure. 89th, 90th minute. Crossing the box. Boosh. 2 1. Pedda. Disconnect. Quit. Rage quit. Get out of here. He was doing flick ups. He was holding the ball. He was just doing every troll thing in the world with his common golds running around, battering all my players. Oh, get out of here. Right, so one of the players we did try and ended up selling was Taliska. Taliska we paid 29 for, sold for 31, so just lost nothing really. Um, he, was, he was okay. He was really, 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 really decent. But the way to try and fit him into the team was too hard, so we just got rid of him. And then we've sold a few extra players here and there from the UEFA marquee matchups. If you do have Liverpool players in your club, sell them now. They are going for a bomb like this one for Bronze Pat Method or Poo Baby Jones. 9,900 coins from a Bronze Pack. Oh, thank you. Right then. So this is a team, obviously, like I said, Manolas got sent off in the last game. We were struggling. We went 3-4-1-2, put the sending off player in the striker position and just fall out constant pressure attack and stamina wasn't affected whatsoever. So I don't know if that needs looking at. Obviously, we do have a patch coming as well that, that addresses the, um, what is it, the non-lace shot where it does a side foot curling shot instead. So that addresses that. Hopefully, they address stamina in the next Patch, hopefully because I don't think that's right but this is a team for now it might change you might see Sandro go which means that Jesus has to go and might mean that Matweedy has to go as well not because I don't like them I just don't know whether I want to hold so many coins in Sandro when we're still leaking goals I, I just I haven't made the decision but on the face value of it, this team looks absolutely beast. We've still got Lacazette as well in the club, so we can sell him for when his price goes back up slightly. 
I'm quite happy. I'm quite happy. Right then, so that is it then for today's video. If you have stumbled across the channel, why don't you hit that subscribe button? Of course, my friends, if you're already subscribed, you know what to do by now. Turn your notifications on and be part of the Noti Squad. Woo! Hit that thumbs up button as well. Be greatly appreciated. Drop some comments in the comment section below. Get involved in the videos. Let me know what your teams are like going into the first weekend league. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll catch you in a bit.